<laughs> when she talks, my gaze flickers between her mouth and her eyes. By now, I have examined her every facial feature a hundred times. The hint of Asia blended in her skin, a smattering of freckles about her temples. Every chance I get to study her, trace the curve of her cheekbones with my eyes. Follow eggplant rivers that run through our veins, I realize my mother is more beautiful than her Chinese name. Black and white game pieces, smooth and round, poured out across the floor like rice. I push them into little groups, make cakes and pies of black and white. Our past is dredged up in mud, black like the soy sauce we marinate our chicken in. A different kind of racism ravaged our family, white and yellow, yellow and white. Grandma and Grandpa's apartment, tucked away on a San Francisco street, lined with stacks of mahjong tiles. They built up instead of out. It smells like the Orient. Packaged squid and noodles and exotic fruit. Pink boxes from Clement Street, tied up with string, containing strange and wonderful things. Angel food cake, custard buns, dim sum, hargao, pork shumai, a laden lazy Susan gives all the appearances of family. My past was unknown. The little I knew I colored over in red and gold. Foreign lands I have never set foot in. Traditions that will remain forever forgotten. A language I can never fully understand. The holes in my knowledge I filled in with pictures from watching Mulan. I was deprived of my rich cultural heritage, looking in from the outside. You can see it in my mom. You can hardly see it in me. And you won't ever see it in my daughter. As Asia fades from the family line, we don't look back. Our past starts with us. Woo!